The following is a production of the Washington College of Law at American University. Hello! And hello, I'm Matt. And I'm Chris, and welcome to another... Yet another... Yet another in this continuous... And seemingly endless... ...series of instructional videos designed to show you that there is nothing to fear in the world of audiovisual equipment. Except workers controlling the means of production. Why do I even talk to you? Why? Entitled How to Use a Crestron Classroom. Crestron? I think I had some Crestron for dinner last night, Chris. <laughs> no, you didn't. The chief difference between an AMX classroom and a Crestron classroom, aside from the fruity smell, is Crestron classrooms are connected to our main office on the third floor via the internet. This means if you have a problem, we can fix it right from our office. <laughs> Which means you don't have to see us. Which is a good thing for you. Because the rest of the staff isn't nearly as good looking as we are. Now, no, they are not. Using the Crestron classrooms is easier than Pi. Nothing is easier than Pi. Each room has an AV rack near the front of the room. The Crestron remotes are like mini computers. They're linked to the rack and the projector wirelessly through the internet. They're also battery operated, which means you can use the remotes anywhere in the classroom. Anywhere? Yes. <laughs> Simply select whichever input you wish to use from the list on the left, and the projector will automatically turn on, and the screen will come down. If you select VCR or DVD, remote controls for those players will appear in the center of the remote. Volume control is on the right. There is also a feature called Video Mute on the Crestron systems. Video Mute? What on earth is that? Well, what, what do you think it is, Matt? I don't know, maybe some holographic mime that springs forth from the fifth dimension to solve all of our problems, both AV and otherwise? No. No. That, that is in no way correct. Where do you come up with these ideas? Are you, are you serious? You're, you're like some kind of- I know, Matt, you lovable scamp. <laughs> all Video Mute does is this. Hey, what happened? We muted the video. But I can still hear us. That's because only the video is muted, not the audio. It's handy if you want to play an audio file from the computer or a CD. How do we turn it back on? Just hit video unmute. Oh. So video mute. Right. Unmute. Very good. <laughs> mute. Right. Unmute. Yep. It's as mute. Okay. <laughs> unmute. Right. Mute. Yes. Unmute. Okay. That's mute. Perfect. Unmute. I think you got the mute. They know. unmute. They have mute. They unmute. Have mute. They, unmute. Give, unmute. Give me that. You better unmute us. But what if the batteries die? <laughs> what if the batteries die? <laughs> then we'd be completely powerless. We'd have no control over the machines at all. It's okay. They'd be like uncaged wildebeests, except. They'd know our secrets. Our deepest, darkest, internet-based secrets. Matt, it's, it's all right. It's not all right. Nothing about this is all right, okay? There are wild, super-intelligent, uncaged wildebeests running around the law school, and the batteries are dead Matt, at the least. Matt, it's fine! The remote controls online. What? In every Crestron classroom, there is a link to the classroom controls on the desktop of the room's computer. Oh. Good. If the batteries die, or you can't get a wireless signal, simply click on the link to control the room. This is actually the same link that we'll use in the office if you call us with an issue. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call at extension 4479, or shoot us an email at mcc at wcl.american.edu. Pick up the phone. 
Chris, pick it up. Chris, pick it up. Seriously? This is Chris and Matt. And Matt and Chris. Reminding you that there is nothing to fear in the world of AV. Except the rise of the proletariat against the bourgeoisie. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean? It doesn't even make any... The, the rise of the workers against... The rise against... of the proletariat. Look, excuse me for wanting to expand my horizons a little bit. I don't care about your horizons. What, what do you do online that you're so worried is going to rampage through the building uh, like a bunch of wild beasts? Whoa, not wild beasts. Wildebeasts, okay? They're very dangerous animals in large groups. Like I care about yeah, wildebeasts. they can run over and trample things. There's no room. We're in the people. middle of the they city. There are no wildebeasts. There's no zoo. The zoo. The zoo's not that far away. The zoo is here. very far away. They could run over I, I don't even want to be associated. All I'm saying I can't is that they could harm us if they needed to harm oh, us. God. They would harm oh, us. You know what? You need to move out. You need to move out of the house today. I after you get home. I'm not going to move out because that's the only place I know where to live. I don't even grew up. I'm moving out. I want my DVDs back before I leave. Great. All of them. Fine. Seriously. I don't even know what to do with you. And that is how a bill becomes a law. Where's the gods of law?